welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack and this is my YouTube channel, Life in Motion. Now behind me is my Porsche 718 cable. I bought this car not too long ago. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link on the screen now so you can check it out. Basically, I did a video of just showing you guys what I bought to replace my old John Cooper works. But this video is all about first impressions. It's all about what I thought when I picked up this car, what I think about the styling, the build quality, just everything really. So I'd love to hear your guys as well. If you comment below what you think about the styling, just the whole car really, that'd be brilliant. And make sure to like the video as well so other people can find it and comment and we can just really get a bit of a community going and see what everyone thinks. Um, also, if you can subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing as I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I really need your help. But for now, let's have a look and I'll show you what I thought of this Porsche 718 Cayman. <laughs> Look, and I'll explain kind of what I thought about the car, but just briefly, I want to stress one thing. There are a lot of sports cars out in the market. I really wanted a sports car. I didn't want a hot hatch anymore. I had the John Cooper works, and I was, you know, I was, I was happy that I'd finished, at least for now, that kind of hot hatch period of my life. And I really wanted a sports car. There's not a lot around, and this is one of the best. Not, you know, it's all, it's all up to kind of matters of opinion who thinks which ones are best. But for me, this is one of the best. And obviously, it was for me at the time. Compared to a lot of other ones, it was the best, and that's why I went for it. So we're just starting from the outside. Let me just let me focus in on there. So just straight away, this angle is absolutely awesome because you can. I put the spoiler up so you can have a little look. That doesn't normally go up, and actually, uh, I don't know whether I like it all the time up. I quite like it, uh, but you know, for now, I put it up just so you guys can see. But so you can see the black wheels, the slightly bigger wheels. Uh, I think they're Carrera S wheels or something. You know, the kind of now 11 S. Which actually, I'll show you a picture in a minute, and you can see how much this car does look like a 911. But from this angle, it looks fantastic. You've got the really nice big sweeping lines along the back of the car as it goes through. And actually, it has got a bigger back and it has got a nice little nimble smaller front, which is a really nice design. It doesn't help for parking though. It does, basically, the, the, the back of the car I think is wider. And so you think you're kind of going at an angle, but actually you are straight. So that's a bit of taking used to. But yeah, I think at the back, it looks absolutely brilliant. And actually, if we kind of go, kind of come down here, that, that image there looks absolutely brilliant. Now, I'm actually really desperate to see well, my car, basically, on the road. I love seeing 718 Caymans on the road because, because then you can kind of see what your car probably looks like from behind. But yeah, it's a brilliant, brilliant looking car uh, from, from this side. Now, moving down to the side, this is the shot I want to show you. Hang on, let me, just, let me just show you this shot. So from this angle, you can really see the sweeping lines of the car. And actually, I really do think it has got that real nice 911 shape. You can see it's not a 911. I appreciate that. But it's got, it's really got the sweeping lines. And it is basically, a, a, for, for me, a baby 911. Uh, and actually, as I said in my original video it's actually really a nice starter if you're looking for a, a sports car a Porsche it's a really nice place to start it eases you in it's not too much power it's nice and easy to uh, to use every day so that that's really nice but yeah from this angle you've got the bits of black on it all around the car that the 718 on the side uh, the little black intakes and obviously the wheels as well and it just ties it up really really nicely so yeah again the side profile 911 ish which is awesome and as we kind of move around to the front this is where I think I just I don't know, I just, I just think the car looks superb. So obviously you can clearly tell by now my first impressions of this car from the outside are absolutely brilliant. I love the look of this car. I really do. It doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look light. One, one of the things that um, I was thinking at is, is a Jaguar F-Type. Now the Jag is probably what I would class as almost like a, a European muscle car. It's it's quite big, it's 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 big at the back, it's it's more you know you know what I mean, that muscle car type approach. This is very light, this is very nimble, this just looks elegant and, and it looks uh, speedy, it looks fast, it, lo it looks like it already is re raring to go. So um yeah from this angle it looks brilliant. I have got the PDLS Plus uh, Porsche Dynamic Light System Plus which gives me the four little dots. Now if you look in the rearview mirror if you ever see what, that design uh, you'll see the four little dots. They look brilliant, they look really really cool. Uh, I haven't got the Sports Design Pack Plus or whatever it's called, uh, but it, I do think with with a bumper and the little bits of uh, uh, splitter bits at the front uh, along the side, it just looks brilliant as well. From 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 all angles, really, I'm I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed. First impression video is going to be really tough because obviously I'm really biased. I bought the car because I love it, but obviously you guys might not. So, so comment what you think of the car. Would you got a different colour, different wheels, different whatever? Let me know what you think. But obviously from from what I see from all angles, I think this car looks brilliant. Um, 
I also think if you're just kind of going in a little bit, everything is so well nicely made. Oh guys, sorry, really sorry about the wind, it's horrendous. But but anyway, everything is really solidly made. Like when I'm in, I'm closing boots, uh, doors, when I'm when I'm cleaning it as well. On my old Mini, when I used to click, turn, kind of move the uh, the wing mirror, it used to creak and rattle and, and there is just a level step up from, from, from that car. So from that opinion as well, it's just such a nicely well-built, put together car so um yeah it just it just it just reeks quality but um let's jump inside and we'll have a little look at our first impressions of, of the interior if i jump i will fall guaranteed 20 seconds later so yeah let's jump inside and have a little look at oh i can't help but get excited whenever i'm in this car so Inside the 718 came in. Let's have a little look. So first of all, one of the first thing that hit me with this car is very, very simple. It's very minimalist. I've got in here, I've got a touch screen, which I'll show you in a minute, but I've got all the different controls and it always all very, very simple. On the steering wheel, I haven't got loads of buttons. I have got a multi-function steering wheel, which is, a, which is an option. It does give you a heated steering wheel, which the button is actually just under there. But I've got all my different controls, volume, answer the phone, bits and bobs like that. And I have got this little toggle switch, uh, which changes my, um, my setup of the car, Sport, Sport Plus, for example, uh, as part of something called a Sports Chrono Pack. But yeah, it's all really simple. The dials are very simple. Uh, everything is just really, really simple. Uh, and what I like to think is it's quite elegant as well. So my first impression is when I got in the car, obviously that badge there, that Porsche badge is very exciting. And, and you know, as a big car guy, collecting any car is exciting, but collecting a Porsche, you know, I never thought I'd be owning a Porsche uh, this kind of early on in, in my kind of my life, my career. But, you know, I have, I managed to get in one and actually it's such an exciting time. And, and I think part of the reason I didn't go for a Jaguar or, or an Audi is because I'm not sure I quite got the same excitement out of those cars that I do with the Porsche. Um, but yeah, as soon as I got into the car, I, it just felt special. It felt it felt a little bit naughty. It felt like I shouldn't be here. But um, yeah, it felt really, really exciting for the first time. I didn't actually film in the dealership because, to be honest, it was it was my day. I just wanted to sit there and relax. My my friend at Paul Swindon, Dick Lovett, Paul Swindon, a guy called Jordan, which is brilliant if you need to go and see Jordan. He's fantastic. Um, I just want to sit down with him. He's a good friend of mine from a little while ago. So we wanted to sit down and just enjoy the car, go through things. We got so excited, I actually forgot to pick up a few things. But but anyway, yeah, it's it's been such a lovely experience. Now, one thing... Oh, can you see me? There we go. One thing that um, is quite interesting in this car is... Now, this may sound really, really silly, but... Can you see that line of dirt now that is where oh god that is where i'm getting in and sweeping my leg across because ultimately there is a coupe it's, it's basically a sports car coupe long doors when i'm getting in yeah i keep catching my foot on the seat and on there so that keeps getting muddy so i've got to really be careful of that but so that's that's just one thing and when i first got in the car i thought actually yeah it is actually quite time to get in here passenger wise loads of room when I when I had my uh, my girlfriend in the car for the first time, she had a huge amount of space in the front. You know, this this seat isn't all the way back. There's there's still there's still a bit of room. She's not tall, but yeah, there's so much room there. And actually, I know when I when I took my uh, my my friend out as well for a drive, he's a lot taller. You know, absolutely fine. There's plenty of room, and I think because you've got the mid engined mid-engine design the engine there you have so much room obviously the bulkhead and the car can be a bit further forward giving you in the cockpit such a nice place and actually i think as a gt car let me just swap you around uh, kind of as a gt as a gt car if you're going for a long drive then actually having a cockpit having something that's that's quite open and not enclosed is really nice and i think the windscreen is nice it's not too flat visibility wise I've got plenty. The mirrors are nice size. They, don't, they aren't too small because I have. I know a lot of sports cars have got really, really small mirrors, which is great. Uh, but also, yeah, all my blind spots are absolutely fine. So from a, from a, that perspective, I didn't feel claustrophobic. I felt really nice. Has got a black roof lining. Has got basically black inside. So that can dim down quite a lot of the, the light in the car. But no, it, it's it's really, really lovely from that perspective. And then the next thing I did was put the key in and turn the ignition on and suddenly the car comes to life you know you've got all the different all, all your different speedos all your different displays coming up you've got all the this kind of kicking into life as well um 
and oh let me just turn that down and so you know that's the next thing that hit me so the, my next impression of the car is obviously all the infotainment now it doesn't feel dated one of the other reasons i didn't go for the f-type is that i think it, it obviously it's now come out with a brand new one but the previous one was a little bit old and i wasn't quite wasn't quite in love with the design but in here it feels modern it feels like a modern porsche does it's got all the modern display and this this display in here doesn't feel old <laughs> This doesn't feel old, you know, I've got different bits and bobs and it, it moves around nicely and I've got all my CarPlay as well, so I've got my Apple CarPlay so I can I can plug my phone in to a little USB port in here and I can charge it. And actually, on that port, I'm, I'm young and I know that everyone that's young probably needs a few of these. I've got one there for me and actually, oh, and actually I've also got one there for my passengers as well, which, can you see that? There we go. So, ultimately, First impressions, amazing, you know, outside, brilliant, looks fantastic, but unfortunately, we all know you don't see the outside of the car when you're driving. So inside, that's where you spend most of the time. Now, I could never buy a car if I didn't like the outside of the car. I just couldn't do it. You know, I, I take pictures of my cars. You know, if you look, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll put the, I'll put my, uh, my little tag on the screen now so you can, you can check it out. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know I post quite a few photos and you know I post car photos of my cars. I don't like having a car that I don't like to look at and so I would never buy one ever I would never do that but on the inside I also want to make sure it's lovely and I am totally impressed I've been driving for a little while and I absolutely love it so guys I really hope you like this first impressions I wanted to just share with you what I thought of the car because obviously I didn't film at the dealership because it was kind of a special day for me and I, I just want to really want to absorb it and enjoy it but yeah I wanted to go, go through and, and tell you what I thought when I first got in the car and kind of what I think of it uh, as a whole. Um, I really hope you guys like the car and obviously you like the video. Make sure to give it a, a, a like, a thumbs up uh, so you can find let other people find the video uh, and see what they think as well. Um, comment what you do like as well. Um, what you think actually I probably would have changed something in there or maybe I don't like this or don't like that or you do like this or you do like this bit. Whatever, you know, comment below and tell me what you think. Um, but I want to just say one thing, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, I know I keep banging on about it, but it would be an absolutely amazing goal this year if I can achieve a thousand subscribers. So, you know, it's all down to you guys and in your help. But ultimately, I really hope you like this channel because I love filming it. I love cars. This is my main, main passion. And ultimately, one day, hopefully, I can start, you know, to develop a career in cars um, where, you know, I can just enjoy them every day. Um, but yeah please make sure to like and subscribe but for now i will see you very very soon